Your decision to be here, learning how to build wealth con nosotros, is going to make a huge impact in our comunidad. You have been selected to participate in this program, not only because we want you to build wealth, but because we want you to build wealth with your entire familia. And that can get tricky, especially because in our cultura, ni hablamos de dinero, right? So I want to give you some tips, some do's and don'ts when it comes to talking dinero with loved ones. Don't avoid money conversations just because nobody in your family is talking dinero, unless they don't have it. Do ask your familia if they want to hear about what you're learning here at Suma Dinero Bootcamp. Ask them what they already know about budgeting, credit and loan management, credit scores, retirement savings, and investing. Don't assume everyone has the same financial vocabulary as you do. Do make sure to explain key terms. Break it down for them. Talk to Dinero with them the same way we talk about Dinero here at Suma Dinero Bootcamp. Don't ambush your loved ones with questions about their personal finances. Do share your personal financial goals and your feelings around them. We're all in different places when it comes to talking Dinero, and it's important to give your family the space they need in order to be where they're currently at. Lead with your own vulnerability before asking others to be vulnerable. Don't let your excitement for everything that you're learning create a situation where your family feels bombarded. Sometimes people just don't have the capacity to learn new information. So do always ask, do you want to hear what I'm learning about? Do you have the capacity to learn about dinero right now? Don't take it personal if your familia is completely turned off by your dinero conversations. Poco a poco, they'll get comfortable, but it's going to come with you respecting where they're at. So always do respect your family's boundaries. Just because someone doesn't want to talk dinero right now, doesn't mean they're never going to want to talk dinero. Todo con tiempo. Don't think you're going to change your family's relationship with dinero in one conversation. This is going to take time. So do give yourself repeated time and space to talk dinero Poco a poco. Don't try talking dinero when you're feeling tired and overwhelmed with vida. Money talk is a sensitive subject, so do make sure that you are well rested and feeling good to create a positive space for dinero talk. All right, you ready? Maybe yes, maybe no. Well, don't worry if you're feeling nervous about Hablando Dinero con Familia. You can always get the support that you need during office hours. Thank you so much for being here. Now, let's go talk budgets. See you in the next class.